today we start with flow measurement what is flow measurement how can we measure the flow of a flowing fluid let's write some measurement devices Number one, tensiometer. Number two, orifice meter. And number three, pitot tube. And we have other device also, nozzle. Nozzle meter or simply a reducer these are the flow measurement devices we will study about bensurimeter orifice meter and pitot tube in detail in this lecture we will study about bensurimeter now we start with bensurimeter for starting with bensurimeter we write parts of bensurimeter one inlet two a short converging part Three throat. Four a short diverging part. These are the four parts of bensurimeter. I will make figure here. This is the bensurimeter. I will write the names of part here and this is the inlet. And this is throat. And this is outlet. And this small portion converges from here to here so this is the converging part and we have this person become bigger and bigger when we go right from this point throat to the outlet this is called diverging part This is the bensurimeter. This is used to measure the flow of liquid. Suppose the liquid is entering here from here. This is the inlet and this become outlet. Now we will do a derivation for rate of flow through bensurimeter. Flow through bensurimeter. So I will rub this part. So you consider a bensurimeter fitted in a pipe. Let the diameter of this portion inlet portion be d1 and diameter of this throat be d2 area of cross section at inlet a1 area of cross section at outlet a2 let this bensurimeter is connected to the pipe and water flow in, in this direction let this is inlet at we consider as section 1 and this is throat we consider as this is section 2 now we will write some lines here consider a bensurimeter fitted in a pipe where liquid is flowing having density rho as shown 
in figure let d1 is the diameter of inlet Diam this is the diameter at inlet A1 is area of cross section at inlet. Let B1 is the velocity of flowing liquid at inlet. and d2 a2 b2 are cro corresponding values at section 2 this means d1 d2 b2 a2 are the diameter area of cross section velocity at section 2 now we apply Bernoulli principle between section 1 and 2. Here one section 1 is the inlet and section 2 is the outlet. We apply Bernoulli's equation between the section 1 and 2. Potential head, kinetic head, and pressure head are constant. We apply Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's equation is the energy equation governing flow measurement. So you apply pressure head, kinetic head, and potential head is constant. Pressure head is given by P by rho G plus kinetic head given by V square upon 2G plus potential head is given by Z. We are applying Bernoulli's equation between section 1 and 2 at suffix. We write 1. This at Section 1 must be equal to section 2. Here, Z1, let this is the center of this density meter, and this is the datum, and this is road height, and this is the inlet height. And Z1 and Z2 are equal, so they are cancelled out. Or P1 by rho G minus this goes upon left side we have my negative sign similarly we have v2 square by 2g minus p1 square upon 2g p1 upon rho g and p2 upon rho g these are the pressure head at section 1 and 2 we represent it as a h this must be equal to v2 square upon 2g minus v1 square upon 2g here we write where h is difference in pressure head now continue with by raising this Over from this equation we have t square minus b1 square equal to 2gh let this is equation 1 now we apply continuity equation at section 1 and 2 in the figure above we have
this is the continuity equation at section 1 and 2 so we find any value of b1 or b2 let's find value of b1 we assume we let area of cross section at small a1 so this is small a1 and this is also small a2 We substitute this value of B1 in equation 1. B2 square minus B1 square. In place of B1 square, we put A2 upon A1 into B2. This whole square equal to 2GH. We solve for value of b2 if we take common b2 square we have 1 minus a2 upon a1 all square equal to 2 g h this b2 becomes root under 2 g h upon root under a1 square minus a2 square upon a1 square now value of b2 becomes as root under 2 gh upon and this u1 come outside of the root and goes upward that is here a1 upon root under a1 square minus a2 square we, fi we find value of b2 To find discharge we substitute this value of b2 in this equation let this is equation 2 if we substitute this value of b2 into this we have q equal to a2 into this value a1 root over 2gh upon root under a1 square minus at square this is the actual theoretical value of discharge actual value of discharge is less than the theoretical value to, calcul to calculate the actual value of discharge we multiply this theoretical value with the discharge coefficient This is the actual value of discharge where CD, this is capital C small d in suffix, CD is the discharge coefficient. The value of CD is always less than 1. So we conclude Q actual is always less than Q theoretical. The rate of flow through bensimeter is derived here. This is the equation. This is two are the equation governing the rate of flow through a bensimeter. If we know the area of cross section at inlet and outlet, at inlet and throat section, and if we know the edge. Yes, pressure head difference at section 1 and 2 we get the discharge to bensimeter for actual value of discharge we have discharge coefficient cd so this lecture in coming lecture video we do the derivation uh, we study about this edge differential head edge how to calculate this how to derive this how to calculate this from the figure we have to calculate this using manometer attached with the bensimeter. We will do and derivation of this pressure differential pressure head at section 1 and 2.